working on the floor on my mill here. Um, whenever I got this thing going last year, I, I was in a hurry and got, got a work platform put up, but I never did, I never did nail down my two by sixes. And uh, so anyhow, they've, they've bowed up and so it's just gotten really bad. That, uh, and they, and they crook too. And, uh, so a couple weeks ago, me and Noah and Micah, we, we took them all up one by one and put them on the mill. And then we, we straight edged them and put them back down. And then we still didn't have enough time to nail them down. So I'm doing that, some of that today. I don't know how much I'll get done. Uh, uh, I'll see see what I can get done. Uh, been hadn't done a whole lot here lately. Uh, we just got back from a trip to Montana. We made a, a special trip out there to visit my daughter. She lives down out there and uh, works for the federal government. And does uh, top secret stuff. It's can't even mention it. I, I already said too much. So and uh, and got to see one of our top fans or two of our top fans out there so we got to see milwaukee and her husband jody and uh so shout out to them uh, but we had a good trip it sure was cold and glad to be back because it's so so darn cold but i'm glad to glad it's summertime here now it's it's april but we're already in the 80 85 degree weather which is fine with me um, but so you can see I, I've only got three of these nailed down and uh, I'm putting the putting some bolts in them but it sure makes a difference just them three really makes a difference and so you can kind of see how that one's bowed up uh, uh, you can see how terrible those look. I may end up replacing some of them. They're so bad. I don't know. I hope not. I don't, I don't want to have to. I don't really have any white oak left uh, to replace a whole lot. But, uh, I do have a couple of down here ready to go if I need to. Uh, I, I can't even remember where they came from. They're really ugly, so. They work fine for my floor. Uh, look how ugly that is. Golly. And I assume they're white oak. Uh, Y'all tell me if it is or not. I think it is. I worked in veneer my whole life for the last 35 years. So I can tell you about 15 or 20 species just, just to snap my fingers if I see it in a a peeled veneer but if it's on the tree trunk the stump like this the log you know I, I i struggle with that i can tell you a couple three different pines and i think i can identify white oak pretty accurate sometimes i get them confused which i'm not sure if that one is or not because it's got so many knots on it. The white oak around here doesn't have limbs until it gets to the very top. So I'm not sure about that, but I can tell uh, usually a poplar, you know, is pretty simple. But when it gets to other stuff, I'm not, like the, there's so many oaks. It's either a red oak or a white oak to me. And then you got, you know, I know you got black oak and, um, Pin oak, all kind of oak, post oak, water oak. I don't know what they all are. But this is some, like, I'll say white oak, but that's what I think it is. But I'm going to use that for a decking for for here to get into my cab. And I'm going, I'm going to put it where I get in from from that side. You'll walk across and get in here and then I'm going to build me a platform over to, to the track carriage. 
I bought this old thing. Bought the hay wagon and that carriage there. And I got a 371 Detroit engine that's up there at the garage. And uh, it uh, got all that real cheap. It's a cheap, I ain't gonna tell you how much cause you wouldn't believe me. I think somebody been down here nosing around. My saw, my saw blades fell off. But anyhow, I, I sent uh, old Mark Glitchy some pictures in an email, and I hadn't heard nothing from him, but he was going to ask John Clark if he knew what kind this was. But it's not that I'm going to use it or even probably sell it right now. But if I ain't really good at emails and pictures. They all, they won't go through. I don't have good internet at all so if y'all any y'all mark or john know what kind of meal this is you can tell me this is all i've got except for the engine it's got a unique saw blade for it though i think i think it it does that Got the little gearbox thing. Mark said that was worth what I give for everything. But there's a part number, 742. That don't mean nothing probably. Uh, you can see the markings right through there. There's another number, 736 maybe. And the scale. The wife's been fussing. She wants that sawdust up there in the barn. I told her just because I said I'd do it, it doesn't give her the right to remind me every three months. Replace that too. But I'm going to go ahead and, and put the, the edger over here. It looks like it's you know, been sitting out in the weather for two years, but I don't see anything wrong with it. I believe hook it up and it'll be ready to go. Throw a little grease and oil on it. I think it'll be ready. I always see her come from a good friend of mine. He just wanted me to come over to his house one day and get it, so I did. And then, uh, you know, this stuff here, I don't know. Is that beach or, I think that's beach. I think, I think this is beach and I think this is birch. And then, Red oak and white oak, I think. Y'all, y'all tell me on them things there. Up there, I should have walked up there a minute ago. But see that big ugly pile over there? That's uh, some walnut I went and got from a lady. She let me have. I don't. Walnuts, man. They, they used to be everywhere around here, and everybody's cut them down. They're, it's hard to find one. And here's some uh, hemlock that come from Noah's house. He let me have, but uh, he's wanting some lumber, so we're going to use it for his uh, firewood shed. But he said there ain't no metal in it, so I'm taking his word for it. And then this, uh, I assume this is red oak. I hope it is. I got a cousin down east, uh, lives, lives down towards the coast. But she might be moved to Raleigh now, maybe. She did live in Wilmington. But she wants a live edge 
slab to put on a kitchen countertop. So I'm going to do that. Waiting on her to tell me what dimensions to make it. And, um, and here's a, a 24 foot beam that I cut the other week. Y'all saw a short video of it, I believe. It was a real bad video with my telephone. I didn't have my camera with me that day. Anyway, I just laid it down here so I get it off the ground. But ain't that a good looking little beam? I'm gonna use that for my shed too. Yeah, I don't have no help today.
it's not very fun to do by yourself. This is what I'm working on today. I got my floor bolted down good and tight. It's not the prettiest, but we ain't too worried about that. Well, that's a deep subject. I'm gonna get this floor down. I got, I'm gonna put my uh, edger right here. I know I've said it 20 times already, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the edger up. I didn't really want to because you have to walk around it or climb over it to get to the engine or around that way. Uh, it, I think it'll just be better. It'll keep from having to have another tractor to run it or an engine to run it. Just run it off of that. And and the Charlie Daniels are the Detroit engines that never did come to help me. Uh, he did tell me on the phone that that motor would run better with the edger on it uh, and the mill. He said it, for whatever reason, more load on it, make it run better. I, don't, I didn't know why. So that's going on what he says. So I'll see if I can get that other video that I did yesterday. Um, I'll combine it with this one if I do get it to turn back over. Somehow or another, it filmed it upside down. <laughs> so. And Noah's gonna have a, a baby. We're gonna go to a gender reveal party here in a, about an hour and a half. So, really excited about that. Uh, and, uh, today's Saturday. I might get it loaded, edited. I, I've learned how to edit a little bit. Uh, just a little bit, not very good at it yet. So. I'll try to edit a lot of this walking around out of it and uh, get it loaded up. Maybe maybe I'll get it turned on tomorrow after church service or something. So We'll see. Y'all hang in there.